This prayer is courtesy of the Lent and Easter Faith at Home resource from Pacific Mountain Region's First Third Ministry. We're just going to take a moment and light the Christ candle. And so if you want to get an adult or your mom and dad to come help you light a, light, light a candle, that would be great. And then once we light it, oh, hang on. Once we light it, we're going to just take a deep breath. I invite us into a time of prayer. This prayer is a prayer for hands, and it's adapted from Seven Sacred Pauses by Macrina Wiedercare. So I just want you to find a nice, comfortable place to sit or stand and just start noticing your hands. Just pay attention to your hands. How large or how small are they? Do they look similar or different to others in your household? Are they smooth? Or are they rough? Or do you have rough spots? Do they move easily? Or are they stiff sometimes? Reach out and touch some of the things around you. How do they make you feel in your hand? So begin to move your hands over each other and maybe over the hands of other people in your household. Think about what are the wonderful things your hands can do. How have you used your hands today? Is there any pain or joy or other feeling in your hands? So bring your hands to a resting place, folded, clasped gently, palms upward or joined in prayer. If you're practicing with another person, you might hold their hands in yours. We offer gratitude to our hands and to the hands of the people with us. We thank them for the ways that they keep us safe, offer care, create beautiful things or other things that we're grateful for. We ask God to bless our hands and their work in their play, in tenderness, and in creation. Amen. Hello, and welcome back to Storytime. In our Sunday School lessons for the next three weeks, we're going to be looking at Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is at the end of Lent, and this year, we want to build to that. So for this Sunday, next Sunday, and the Sunday after, we'll be looking at Palm Sunday. So to kick us off, I thought I'd read from the Spark Story Bible, the story of Palm Sunday. It's on page 455, if you want to follow along at home. Let's read. Friends, Jesus said to his disciples, I need to go to Jerusalem. I've got some important things to do and I want to celebrate Passover with you there. Will you come with me? Sure, said the disciples. Passover is a great holiday. Such good food, and what a wonderful story Passover celebrates. The exodus of God's people, the Israelites from Egypt. It's good to be with friends and family at Passover. So Jesus and his friends started to go towards Jerusalem. They got close to the city, and Jesus said, I'd like to two of you to go and borrow a donkey in the next village over. Please tell the owner that I need it. He'll understand. When Jesus and the two friends came back with the donkey, Jesus climbed on its back and rode down the hill towards the city of Jerusalem. The disciples followed behind him. Suddenly, they found themselves in a parade. People were singing and shouting, Hosanna! Hosanna! Here comes God's king. Hosanna! Praise God! People all over heard the shouting and singing, and they joined the parade too. Hundreds of people. Thousands of people. They started taking off their coats and laying them down on the ground for Jesus and the donkey to walk on. 
They pulled palm branches down from the trees and waved them as they sang. Then they threw their palms on the ground to make a path for Jesus. The crowds gave Jesus a royal welcome as he rode into the city, just like a king. But Jesus was a very different king. He was a king of peace. Not everybody understood that. Jesus was not all what they were expecting. They thought the crowd was too loud and the parade was getting too big. Who is this man? Someone asked. What's going on here? Asked another. The crowd answered, This is Jesus, God's king. He has come to save us. Some of the religious leaders murmured, Hush! Jesus, tell your friends to be quiet. It's way too loud here. But Jesus said, We can try and make these people quiet, but that wouldn't make a difference today because the whole earth is celebrating. Well, that's a good story. We look forward to the next three weeks as we explore Palm Sunday, the big parade, and when Jesus is welcomed as a king. Thanks for sharing this time with me. We'll see you soon. Hey friends, how are you? Hopefully you enjoyed today's story. For the next couple of weeks, we are gonna be focusing on the story of Palm Sunday and making different crafts to show our celebration that happened in that parade, in that moment when Jesus came into the town and people waved palm branches. So we're gonna make our own palm branches today. What you need, if you have it at home, is some green paper. Green paper, if you don't have green paper, you know what else would work really well? White paper and a green marker. That would work really well too. So um, I think you need about three pieces. Three would be the best number or maybe four or five, depending on how bushy you want your palm branch to be. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper and stack it all up and set one off to the side. It's gonna be for the next part. You might need a grown-up's help for this part. I've been practicing for a really long time. You are going to take your hand and trace it onto your paper. You will also need either tape or a stapler or some glue, but glue takes a really long time to dry. So if you have either of those two things, tape or a stapler, it'll work a little bit better. And then once you've drawn your hand, you're going to cut it out. And you're gonna repeat that on all of your green paper or your white paper that you have colored green. Cut, cut, cut. I stacked mine up so I can cut them all at once, but you can cut yours one at a time. I think that makes it a little bit easier to do. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, I've made my hands. Now I'm going to take that piece of paper that I set off to the side and I'm going to roll it up. You can pick, long or short. I'm gonna roll mine along the long edge. And then with my tape, I'm gonna hold it all together. There we go. I've made the branch for my palm tree. Now I'm going to add all my palms. I'm going to staple them on there. Now I've made my very own palm branch that I can wave around. I hope you'll make one too.
We're gonna need them in a couple of weeks for a special palm parade that I think you might be doing. And if not, you can do your very own on our Palm Sunday services that are coming up very shortly.